Ruth Okorocha, your first three minutes in the semi-final of I Beg to Differ debate tournament starts. Thank you. You know, Africa should learn from Europe. Economic data estimates that when European countries switch to Europe, 13 to 19 billion of transaction costs were saved by you. Good afternoon, moderator and personal president, Sandra Honey Badge, educators, co debater, viewers, and listeners. I'm Ruth Okorocha, a proud student of Kingsway College. Speaking for the motion, all African countries should share one currency. Our continent faces big economic issues, one of which is generation of revenue, and we spend more than we generate. With one currency, to eliminate the cost of transaction costs for individuals and firms, and this would also help, these savings could be utilized into other areas. Also, so economically, developing countries would benefit from a stable currency and it would increase the volume of trade among member states. Take European Union, for example, switches to the euro currency increase the volume of trade among member states by 5% to 20%. Different currencies for different trades, different, different currencies for different trade is a roadblock to free flow of trade. And with one currency being implemented, it increases the volume of trade among member states and also transaction costs will be eliminated and all other related international finance. Secondly, is it creates somewhat of a leveling of the trade ground for all African states. These days, these big incentive countries use currency means to make their goods cheaper than others in the African continent. But with a single currency, they would no longer be able to do that at the detriment of the economies of other states. Thirdly, is price transparency of importation and exportation. Prices in different countries can be difficult to compare. How often do you travel around the calculator to find the price of another commodity in another country? And this, with one currency, price, price comparison can be difficult and can be easy and straightforward. It makes companies and firms to easily find the cheapest products more easily. And this would also increase competition as competition increases efficiency as firms are forced to remain more competent. One of the biggest problems of international trade is you don't know which way the exchange rate to move. It either moves in your favor or against you. And this can be a hindrance for international trade for many small firms. But with a single currency, this type of uncertainty is eliminated. Also, it creates a wide range of opportunities and for negotiations of favorable trade, either bilaterally or globally and this integration will create opportunities for both producers traders and consumers to also open the african market to more fed for foreign direct investment in africa many african economies have been unable to attract foreign direct investment due to the size of their economy in few areas where fdi exists they are mostly in petroleum mining and mineral but with a single african market it opens the continent to more of the opportunities in other areas like new technology semiconductors and robotics among others more fdi will spur industrialization as many transnational conductors will seek business opportunities in a wider homogeneous african market that provide the scope of economies of scale and production efficiency. Economically, developing countries would benefit from a stable currency, and this would create a base for future economic growth. Take Zimbabwe, for example, that suffered through one of the most hyperinflation crises in history. In April 2020, the Zimbabwe dollar had to be replaced by foreign currencies, including the US dollars. Some would this have happened if Africa was because of a single currency? Take the CFA currency used in Africa, for example. It increases monetary stability, and for states and their partners, it's more financial stability. Also, keep interest rates it's less than 2% for many West Africa economic, for West Africa economic Monetary Union. This also is attractive for investors and it brings more money into the region. In conclusion, for economists Bako Ferdinand and Daniel Undoi, they said a single currency will prove a valuable currency, a valuable, a valuable in a valuable instrument for international monetary system. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ruth Okoracha. Well done. That was brilliant. Good job. <laughs> Ruth Okoracha is in FS3. She's a student at Kingsway College. And she's 14 years old. Her opposer is the head girl at Vic Mob High School. That's in Shasha. She's 14 years old as well. Her name is Andrella Nadi. Good day, Mabel moderator, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, my co debater, and of course, my ever attentive listeners. I'm Angela Nadi, a proud and vibrant son of Vigma by School, and I'm here to vehemently oppose the notion that states, all African countries should share one currency. Saying all African countries should share one currency is like saying over 54 countries should adopt a one cap fit all solution, which is obviously insensitive, partial, and also unrealistic, especially to small and struggling economy. Another reason why I will say a big no to the monetary to the African Union, Unitary Monetary Union for Africa is that it is going to be poorly managed. Just look around you. Can you point out one re globally recognized Africa in Jersey that has been well managed over the years? Obviously none. A poorly managed monetary system alongside with a rapidly depreciating currency would harm the continent grossly and also diminish economic de um, development for Africans. Furthermore, the transition cost is very expensive, considering the high level of inflation rates. Moreover, it could also bring of economic economic crisis among countries. Uh, uh, that is, countries with weaker economy would have to protest against it because it's only beneficial to few countries and then to prove disastrous to the others. One currency for Africa would mean that governments will have to give up their autonomy over drafting economic policies, benefiting them. If Africa should share one currency, then certainly countries will not be able to implement their economic policy. And then, in the extreme cases, the economy may even 
soon collapse. Let's not forget that people are very funny about money, especially Africans. You know, some nations like to be in control of their money. They don't like giving up control to any other country. We should also not forget that a unitary monetary system would also give space for it would also give space for um what's it called a centralized for a centralized authority which will have no oversight. That is when that is that's for instance saying that a leader would got a clear vision would not be able to lead his people well. Another another point is it will become it's um africa has a lot of challenges africa has a lot of challenges you know we cannot decide to come and start facing a facing a sharing a single currency when we have other pressing issues that is disturbing our dear continent instead of facing instead of facing this sharing one currency why don't we focus on corruption poor infrastructure and low investment in africa because these are pressing issues in the country we don't have all the time saying we should think we should focus on sharing one currency i feel like that's taking too much step already african is not ready to take one step and i stand by my words with this cogent point of mind i believe and be able to properly convince you that indeed african countries should not share one currency thank you thank you very much if you just tuned in you're listening to i beg to differ this is the second semi-final match this match will determine who faces Deborah Pamzat in the final on Thursday, but it also tells us who will come back on Thursday at 3 p.m. for the third place match. I'm Sandra Ezekwesli, your moderator. You just heard Andrella Nadi. She's 14 years old. She's in SS3. She's a student at Vic Mob High School. And uh, she's also the head girl there. Before her, you heard from Ruth Okorocha, who's also 14. Ruth Okorocha is in SS3 at Kingsway College. Both of them debating all African countries should share one single currency. Lagos, let's take a break. When we come back, it'll be time for their rebuttal round. Their rebuttal round allows them to attack each other's points and also make rebuttals of them and also uh, allows them to uh, prepare for their closing round. Paystack is here judging. Our regular judges are also judging. We'll find out who wins at the end of this debate. Hey, 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 you know when I'm here, I've got good news for you. Yes, Paystack helps businesses like yours accept payments online from anyone, anywhere in the world, in any currency. So let's say you have customers in Nigeria, Ghana, the USA or Malaysia. They can pay you online. Even if they don't have Naira, they can pay you in dollars or CDs or pounds or euros. Any currency that works for them. And you, you get paid. That's why over 60,000 businesses, startups and government agencies are using Paystack right now. Paystack is powering their growth. And if you choose Paystack today, you get free access to all the tools they're using. If you're just starting, these tools will help you launch your business and start getting paid. If you're already operating, they'll help you scale faster. I mean, what are you waiting for? Well, if you're wondering, what are these tools? If you don't have a website, Paystack helps you create one for free without any technical skills. There's the free mobile app for managing sales and orders even while you're on the move. And if you want to send invoices, fiam, you can do it right from the app or website and your customer can pay you online. And that's just the beginning oh, of what Paystack can do for you. So I know you want to get started. I mean, guess what? It's easy. Just open your free account at paystack.com slash beg to differ. That is paystack.com slash beg to differ. Sign up for free and right away you can access all the tools you need to get started and scale your business while getting paid from anyone, anywhere and in any currency. So what are you waiting for? Head over to paystack.com slash beg to differ and get started. Thank you again to Paystack for being our headline sponsor. Lagos, I'm Sandra Ezekwesli. I've got Andrella Nadi in the studio with me. She's facing Ruth Okorocha. Andrella opposed that all African countries should share one single currency. And in the next three minutes, she will take a look at the points that Ruth made while she was supporting that motion. And she will try her best to decimate them. Andrella Nadi, your three minutes start now. Still observed. I remain Angela Nadi. My opponent here said that um, 
using a single currency would you know create chance for price transparency but i totally disagree what's the guarantee that there's going to be a price transparency using a single currency when even as we being stable like being singular like we are alone now there's no price transparency in any market so what's the guarantee we should also not ignore the fact that a single currency would require a single money to advert on economy on having a downturn in their economy it is glaring that Africa does not have the infrastructural capabilities to cement a single monetary union at the continental level, as a regional level are still very much underdeveloped. My opponents here must also not fail to understand that Africa is not Europe, and both continents are not comparable in any way. Therefore, Africa has to be extremely selective in choosing the European ideas it would like to replicate. Like I said earlier, instead of, instead of choosing one currency, why don't we focus on overcoming poor infrastructure, low investment, corruption, and other threatening issues in the in the economy in the continent. You also talked about volume of trade. <laughs> that I, I just think that it's just an erroneous opinion of my opponents here to think that a single currency would work for Africa because Africa is certainly not ready at all. We are the f second largest continent in the world, and we are not even we are not even anywhere. We are not even anywhere. You're using Europe as a case study. I'm sorry, but please, Europe and Africa are not the same thing. Just because it worked for Europe does not give a guarantee that it's going to work for Africa. We do not need to copy and paste. We do not need to bite more than we can chew. Let's take things one at a time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andrella and Nadi. Your time is up, but well done. Ruth Okoracha, you've got three minutes, and it starts now. My opponent makes an impress that the smaller countries would be down, they'll be left behind, something like that. Well, it makes them to meet up with their old partners, because I understand what you're saying, that they're trying to share their sovereignty. But don't we do the same when we join UN, IMF, and so on? Even if they are sharing sovereignty, at least they are benefiting something. There's price transparency and so on that they will benefit from. Secondly, you mentioned poor management. Well... Africa is not Nigeria, where we rig elections and elect so uh, person is not even competent enough. If a person is going to rule over the monetary policy of the whole Africa, it takes a person that is incompetent to be elected. Now, we say beneficial to a few countries. Now, look at Europe. Over 15 countries are making use of euro in Europe. And you are telling me it's not beneficial to them. You are saying we should not use Europe and Africa. We should not compare them together. But well, that means you're underestimating our country. You are saying that we should be left behind. We are poor people. We should remain there. What's there? See, when you see something good, you copy it. Can you give me a good reason why we should not copy from Europe? Why we should not do what they are doing when it's working for them? And it's going to work for us here. And you also mentioned that control well. There are small countries in Europe and they aren't the poorest in the world. There are also other small countries that are making use of the Europe and there are also big countries there. And they are not the poorest in the world. They are also benefiting from this single currency of the thing. Is Africa, is Af um, sharing one currency, you mentioned that um, you mentioned that you feel like you feel like sharing one currency would not well. What does Africa got to do with your feelings? Africa investment and moving up, Africa development. What does it got to do with your feelings? Your feelings doesn't matter. You are one person in the millions of people in Africa. A policy that will benefit them. Well, if you feel like you can stay there, but it's going to benefit the rest of Africa. Price transparency, more like it's easier to buy goods from other countries, neighboring countries, more easier than it is now. You are saying, well, if there is price, that there is not like price transparency. That if there is no price transparency now, that is it then? Well, if it's not now, that's why we want to create a single currency so that we can have price transparency. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ruth Okoracha. Well done. If you just tuned in, Lagos. We have two 14-year-olds debating all African countries should share one single currency. Our judges are taking copious notes. And we have all our judges listening attentively. We have you watching on Facebook as well. Remember, you can watch live. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. Sandra Ezekwesili on social media. S. Ezekwesili everywhere. I'm your moderator. I'm also your timekeeper. And we'll take a break. When we come back, it'll be time for the closing round. This is Nigeria Info 99.3. Do you have a growing business or an exciting idea for one? Take your business to the next level with Paystack. Paystack helps you accept payments online from anyone anywhere in the world and in any currency they choose to pay in. 
Naira, US dollars, pounds, any currency. We also give you all the tools you need to scale your business for free. So, no website? Cool, you can create one for free with Paystack. Are you always on the move? You can manage sales and orders from a mobile app. Do you want to get paid faster? You can send quick online invoices to your clients. And there's lots more for you to discover. To get started, create your free account at paystack.com forward slash beg to differ. Once again, go to paystack.com forward slash beg to differ to sign up free for all the tools that you need to start and scale your business. All right, it's now time for the closing round. Final words before we hear from the judges. Judges, This time we're going to start with the motion supporter, Ruth Okorocha. Owing to the success of Euro, there's been a global consensus among economists that economic integration would offer a good paradigm that responds to the challenges of globalization. And this would also benefit Africa because not only economic growth and development, but also create and integrate for Africa to potentially have one currency, which would create a viable market size, reduce transaction costs, and open markets, the African market to negotiations of favorable trade terms. More FDI will come in and gains of economic scope. Our macroeconomic coordination would improve export diversification and industrialization. Also, external currency will provide the space for a so I provide space for a capable currency because the currency that is used on a larger range is said to be more credible. Also, less speculation is expected, and exporters can easily foretell and project the future markets. According to the thesis of Frankel, 1999, it says that when a country faces too much internal disturbance, it might want to peg its currency, and its common currency co um, provides a currency peg, which would improve the stability of a currency and provide space for investment, good job opportunities, and increases the amount of money that comes into a country either from within or from abroad. And also, transfer costs will reduce, which means that we'll be able to buy and sell from neighboring countries easier. And also, currency fluctuation that you go into insurance against for, for currency fluctuation would not be needed. In conclusion, one of my points, my, my opponents mentioned that we are not ready yet. Well, one of this is a, spectac a spectacular aspect of a future debate. Should Africa countries wait until such a time come when they're able to compete with countries at regional level, will such a time ever come? Perhaps the answer is to start now, and smaller countries will catch up with old partners. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ruth Okoracha on fire there. Andrella Nadi, your 15 minutes. Well, three minutes, sorry. I wanted to give you extra time there, but don't worry. It's just three minutes. <laughs> Your three minutes start now. So my opponent said that the uh, weaker economy, I think currency will make the weaker economy to, you know, boost up or come together. That's a lie. Because the Greece pull, pulled out because of it was not beneficial for them. Their, their GDP was going to a minus. Do you know what that, do you know the effect of that on their economy? The single monetary union would create an Africa Central Bank, which would be difficult to monitor and also be held accountable, as there is no African Union government in place to check excesses. Lessons from the Europe has shown that even with the robust institution and strong political commitment to sustain a single currency remains a challenge. This challenge will be difficult to surmount in Africa because we don't even have a robust institution. We don't even have a strong political. We talk less of a preconditioned success. There will also be lack of cooperation among members countries. So why say we should come together and come as form a single currency? That's a barbaric opinion. And I that's and I, I I'm so sorry, but I'm not sorry to say such. A single currency would just bring more division because there's no unity in Africa. From onset, there has been no unity in Africa. So to tell me how this is going to work. Who and who is going to govern? Who and who are you going to put in charge? For a central bank, you need a central banker. So tell me who gets to decide who is going to be in control of our money. It will obviously be difficult to have an own buyer selective process. So with this, I believe I'll be able to convince you that certainly Africans are not ready for a single currency. And I stand to say that if I'm asked a million times and more, I will still concur to the fact that all African countries should not share a currency. Thank you, because Lagos and Sis are your hard facts. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Andrella Nadi there, packing a punch. <laughs> Lagos, we'll take a break. When we come back from this break, 
We'll find out if there's a tie or if we finally know who's going to face Deborah Pamzat on Thursday at 4 p.m. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili S. Ezekwesili on social media. Lagos, don't go away. Hey, 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 you know when I'm here, I've got good news for you. Yes, Paystack helps businesses like yours accept payments online from anyone, anywhere in the world, in any currency. So let's say you have customers in Nigeria, Ghana, the USA or Malaysia. They can pay you online. Even if they don't have Naira, they can pay you in dollars or CDs or pounds or euros, any currency that works for them. And you, you get paid. That's why over 60,000 businesses, startups and government agencies are using Paystack right now. Paystack is powering their growth. And if you choose Paystack today, you get free access to all the tools they're using. If you're just starting, these tools will help you launch your business and start getting paid. If you're already operating, they'll help you scale faster. I mean, what are you waiting for? Well, if you're wondering, what are these tools? If you don't have a website, Paystack helps you create one for free without any technical skills. There's the free mobile app for managing sales and orders even while you're on the move. And if you want to send invoices, fiam, you can do it right from the app or website and your customer can pay you online. And that's just the beginning oh, of what Paystack can do for you. So I know you want to get started. I mean, guess what? It's easy. Just open your free account at paystack.com slash beg to differ. That is paystack.com slash beg to differ. Sign up for free and right away you can access all the tools you need to get started and scale your business while getting paid from anyone, anywhere and in any currency. So what are you waiting for? Head over to paystack.com slash beg to differ and get started. The I beg to differ quarterfinals are over. over. Including the current president of Nigeria. I've tried but failed to remove... We witnessed four epic battles from eight phenomenal debaters. Lagos, we have a tie. The nerves got to all of them. My God, I'm so nervous. Good, um, I'm sorry about that. Oh, Jesus Christ, please. Oh, my God. But four of them dug deep, deep and got, got the job, the job done. done. To train one specialist in medicine, Nigeria is one of such countries to have lost up to $2 billion. And this week... The final four are back. Monday. I'm Deborah Pamzat. One winner. Tuesday. My name is Ruth Okorocha. One winner. One million naira. Join me, Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator, my final four debaters, and my panel of judges, Mondays to Thursdays at 4 p.m. on Hard Facts. Catch it the next day at 5 p.m. on Wazobia Max TV, on DSTV, Go TV, Star Times, and UHF Channel 57. This tournament is brought to you by Paystack, supported by Printivo, Obiweezy.com, RLG Communications, and Just Food. Do you have a growing business or an exciting idea for one? Take your business to the next level with Paystack. Paystack helps you accept payments online from anyone anywhere in the world and in any currency they choose to pay in. Naira, US dollars, pounds, any currency. We also give you all the tools you need to scale your business for free. So, no website? Cool, you can create one for free with Paystack. Are you always on the move? You can manage sales and orders from a mobile app. Do you want to get paid faster? You can send quick online invoices to your clients. And there's lots more for you to discover. To get started, create your free account at paystack.com forward slash beg to differ. Once again, go to paystack.com forward slash beg to differ to sign up free for all the tools that you need to start and scale your business. It's 4.36. Lagos, you're listening to I Beg to Differ. And you are also watching live on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. Now, the results are in. We're collating our six judges, three from Paystack, three of our regular judges. Uh, all results are in. We're currently collating to make sure that we're calculating everybody's point.
points down to the final T. And then, of course, we'll make an announcement. We'll make that announcement in a few seconds, really. I'm Sandra Ezra Kostali. You're listening to I Beg to Differ on 99.3 Nigeria Info. We'll take another break. When we come back, it's results time. Hey, 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 you know when I'm here, I've got good news for you. Yes, Paystack helps businesses like yours accept payments online from anyone, anywhere in the world, in any currency. So let's say you have customers in Nigeria, Ghana, the USA or Malaysia. They can pay you online, even if they don't have Naira. They can pay you in dollars or CDs or pounds or euros, any currency that works for them. And you, you get paid. That's why over 60,000 businesses, startups and government agencies are using Paystack right now. Paystack is powering their growth. And if you choose Paystack today, you get free access to all the tools they're using. If you're just starting, these tools will help you launch your business and start getting paid. If you're already operating, they'll help you scale faster. I mean, what are you waiting for? Well, if you're wondering, what are these tools? If you don't have a website, Paystack helps you create one for free without any technical skills. There's the free mobile app for managing sales and orders even while you're on the move. And if you want to send invoices, fiam, you can do it right from the app or website and your customer can pay you online. And that's just the beginning oh, of what Paystack can do for you. So I know you want to get started. I mean, guess what? It's easy. Just open your free account at paystack.com slash beg to differ. That is paystack.com slash beg to differ sign up for free and right away you can access all the tools you need to get started and scale your business while getting paid from anyone anywhere and in any currency so what are you waiting for head over to paystack.com slash beg to differ and get started thank you as well to our other supporting sponsors we have printivo printivo ensured that all our kids got swag bags in those swag bags were amazing things amazing stuff really I, I don't know if the kids have launched those yet. I, I don't want to ask because they're very nervous right now. And they're just saying to me, Sandra, please call the results now. What's all this talk you're talking? But hey, I have to thank my sponsors, okay? Uh, thank you to Printivo. Uh, Printivo is an online design and print platform. Uh, they are... Uh, an organization that provides a service that is important to a lot of businesses and a lot of people. So if you're a business needing to print branded collaterals or uh, you're a person who needs souvenirs for a wedding or a funeral, Printivo can help. You can create your design. You can select the items you want, like shirts, uh, cups. Um, you can um, select notepads, magazines, human beings. Safe. They, they're going to do it for you. Seriously, just choose the item, choose the design, choose the quantity. Bagam, it's done. Honestly, like it's amazing, really, what they do. And then, of course, um, there is um, obiwizi.com providing the winner of this tournament with an HP laptop, uh, also providing an iPhone for the second place winner. The third place winner gets a speaker, a JBL speaker. And we have RLG Communications providing tablets for the final four finishers. So the final four get something. It's amazing. And aside from the money they're getting from Paystack, did you know Paystack is also throwing in a Chromebook? Oh, yes. Paystack is giving a Chromebook to the first two people. So there are so many reasons to be the first or the second or the third. And I hope that one person who is here today, uh, you know, is the first or the second or the third. Or maybe it's going to be uh, Deborah Pamzat, who is waiting for them already for Thursday's match. Or Ramadan Oladi Kukwo, who is waiting for the third place match. Huh. All right. The in-house judges scored this debate 177 to 159 the judges from paystack judged this debate 159.5 to 103 both judges all judges were unanimous the winner by 336.5 to 262. 
is Ruth Okorocha. Congratulations, Ruth. Thank you. Well done. Thank you both for a wonderful debate. The debate are facing Deborah Pamzak on Thursday at 4. Ruth Okorocha, 14 years old, Kingsway College. She was knocked out in the very first debate that happened right here on Nigeria Info. During the round of 16 of November, she was knocked out in the very first debate. And she came back and she has moved everyone out of her way. And she's now in the finals. Um, thank you, Andrella, for coming. Your road to one million naira ends here. But... You're still in the game. You're still in the competition. You are coming back on Thursday as well at 3 p.m. to play for third place. You're also getting amazing gifts from some of our partners like RLG for making it to the final four. I want you to remember that there were 243 people who auditioned for this. You were top 10. Remember that. Don't forget it ever. Thank you so much to both of you. I'll see you on Thursday. Ruth, we have a gift from Paystack for you. Thank you, Thank you so much. You can hand it over. You can, you know, leave the studio uh, and go and meet them. No, but I want to talk to the judges a bit because I want us to talk about, like, the judging today. So let's talk about that. So let's move to, to, to these seats here, you know. Uh, thank you so much to our in-house judges. I'm sure our in-house judges will feel jealous because, like, you don't let us talk. Why are you letting Paystack talk? <laughs> but, but really, um, uh, Tammy, uh, tell, oh yeah, tell the kids to wait because we need to take a picture with them and with the Paystack team. Tammy, uh, tell me, you know, why Ruth won for you. Well, for me, I felt she was very, very data driven. Okay. Um, a lot of her points revolved around quoting actual numbers mm -hmm. and actual speci giving specific examples. Mm -hmm. um, and while Andrella was extremely passionate mm -hmm. about her topic, mm -hmm. I found um, that Ruth was just just had more facts and more points on her side. Mm -hmm. And again, it's a debate. Mm -hmm. You win by points. Yeah. The judging is very strict about that. Yeah. She had a lot more points and a lot of data to support her. Support it. Yeah. How about you, Toba? Yeah. Um, I mean, while I'm not, you know, particularly excited about data, the way my uh, product <laughs> manager friend here is. She's a product manager. She has to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> since I'm in the media, I enjoyed how um, I enjoyed how Ruth spoke. There was a certain um, eloquence and confidence while relaying her points across. Mm -hmm. And as she said, she had a lot more points as well. Mm -hmm. And um, even when she was rebutting her opponent's points, mm -hmm. there was still that eloquence mm. and confidence. Mm. And I liked the way she broke um, the opponent's points down. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, she'd say what the person said mm -hmm. and then say why she doesn't agree with it. Mm -hmm. And then she added new points as well as she went along, which mm -hmm. was something... Like, I enjoyed both sides. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I realized that that was something she did as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. She... Um, added more points both in the rebuttal phase mm -hmm. and in, I think also in the closing phase as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. um, so th that was it for me, honestly. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got Ramat. Ramat also voted in favor of Ruth. Ramat, what was it for you? What did it for you? Okay, um, I would definitely agree with Tammy. Um, I felt Ruth was very data driven. She quoted facts. She also referenced a lot of um, experts in the field. Yes, so I felt like she had more points. She was more calm in passing across her points, while Angela also passed across her points. So I felt she was more um, emotional about it. Yes, so yes. Okay. Yes, through for me yes all over. right our three judges here don't worry we hear from our in-house judges on thursday <laughs> when they come to judge the final but thank you so much for your time today ramat and tammy and toba thank you so much and thank you for your money as well <laughs> <laughs> hey.